McElroy. Well, Rory put the Century Tournament of Champions and the Farmers Insurance Open on his schedule this year. Wanted to get off to a quick start in that FedEx Cup race as he has positioned at 11th in the point standings coming into the week. Yeah, the last five finishes, fourth, fifth, fourth, second, and sixth. That's racking up those FedEx Cup points really fast. Good start in the fairway. Leave him a uh, short iron into that back hole location. Rory ready to go with his second shot here at the 10th. And really set him up well, set himself up well for that. Nice shot, man. Kuchar came up empty on his birdie attempt and Rory from just outside 15 feet. Kuchar's tee shot came moments ago, and here's Rory. <laughs> I think uh, the commentary from the, the other players in the group, Beauty, says it all. And, and that soft landing is something that we're going to be seeing a lot. The ball just hitting the fairways. Rory from 236 here. Taking that one down, starting out the left side of the green, trying to work it back, but that front bunker. At 13, as Rory operates from the bunker at 11. Leaves it below the hole, have a putt, putt up at it. Back at 11. That's going to be a birdie four for McElroy, so he's on the board. Looks like he's aiming at the TV towers behind the green. Oh, yeah. Great job. Oh. 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 Yeah, okay. Flew it all <laughs> the way to the back tier of the green, and that sucker pitched within 10 feet. 315 yards. So Rory's uh, second shot at 12 is going to leave him that for another birdie. Rory for his second birdie of the morning. Yes, sir. Took it on, flew the tee shot, 300 plus, all the way to the hole. Gets three out of it. McElroy, first to play in the group. You can see him trying to work a little fade into that front right flag. Rory McElroy on the 13th hole already had two birdies on the previous two holes. This for another birdie. Off the quick coming down the slope there and back up at the end. Here we go. Pretty good height on that one too. Apex of 121. And pretty per solid carry there too. Yeah, and perfect location to come into that whole location. Doesn't have to worry about the trees at all. Back away, I think, also trying to fade one into that right location from 161. So after, after the little shot into the 14th, this McElroy for birdie up the hill. So hard to make yourself hit it firm enough. I'd say the average is probably more in the 11 and a half to 12 range. So these things are gonna, they gotta be careful though. They start drying up a little bit in the afternoons so that they can get a little out of control. So obviously in the morning, they're a little bit slower on purpose. 15th tee shot for McElroy again with driver. Gotta love this. Oh. 
I love watching him hit the driver. It's like he hits a little, it's like the transition, he's doing a little bit of a squat, right? He really gets in there. Second shot on 15, McElroy. From just 135, this should be right in his wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after a great iron shot into the 15th, McElroy has this to go, three under par. A more aggressive pace than Mr. Mickelson. So, yeah, McElroy on the par five, 16th. Fourth on the PGA Tour this season in driving distance, 313 yards per drive. Now, not really a surprise here, McElroy having to lay up on 16. Just a really awkward spot to be in. Now, whilst everybody's booking their tea times, Roy McElroy. Wow, is... oh, was that sporty. Yeah, that was awesome, See, wasn't really, it? He really leaned the shaft, kept it really low. You know, when he puts his best, he's more of an athlete. He's top 10 on the PGA Tour from four to eight feet. But that will hurt his stats. A little tight on that one, too, there, Karen. Mm. About two under par, a good start so far. But In we're always trying to find that freedom. McElroy, two under, has reached the 17th. 121 yards. Using the slope. Deep bunker. Did he learn from Phil? He did. Well done. Missed a short one over at 16, but Rory would not be denied again and gets to three under. Here's Rory off the birdie at 17. Unless he got a kick, he's going to be over the neighborhood where Justin Thomas was earlier. McElroy's tee shot sailed right, kicked off a tree back into the rough here. Yeah, good distance control out of that first cut of rough. PJ National, the Honda Classic, a few weeks back. McElroy's bid to tie for the lead at four under. And a solid opening nine for Rory. Fourteen putts through the opening nine. Sits kind of weird. It's actually been the third hardest fairway, fairway to hit. Only just over 50% of the tee shots have hit this fairway since 2003. That was a nice slinging hook back in the fairway. Now we saw earlier how this is just a little plateau there. Anything short and right by about three yards is going to spin back down to the front of the green. And of course, you don't want to be in that left bunker where Justin Rose experienced a couple of different bunker shots. Great control there. Back at the first, this was just earlier. Three birdie putts coming up here. Rory's is going to dip low. And that was a super quick putt coming down the hill. A high towering draw would be the order of the day here. Absolutely would be perfect. Well, you always like the sign when the marshal's behind the tee, kind of flag it like it's going down the fairway. But that's got caught up. Any? Rory just missed the first cut by a step there. Well, ball slightly above his feet too, so he's going to have to hold on really tight with his left hand so it doesn't turn over. And it was just starting down the left. He was trying to get it to fade. Well, he usually executes them. A tough one here, a long bunker shot for Rory. And a lot of club on it. Oh, baby. That was phenomenal. That would get Rory within one. McElroy to get it to four under here. Oh, yeah. All right. 
cracks the score he was looking for back on the tee. Has birdied two of the three par fives on the day. Hasn't been Rory's favorite hole through the years. He's missed the green, as you see, nearly half the time. But swinging beautifully today. And that one never left the flagstick, but just a touch too deep. Just went over. From the back bunker, not the third, McElroy. This should be a little more straightforward than the one Phil had to deal with. Pretty. And his bunker game is on point. Rory will take on the fourth with driver. His swing was once described as an intoxicating mix of power and precision. I thought that was. But Rory is just kind of humming along really nicely today. And, and you'd expect that. I mean, he, Mark Wilson was talking about it earlier, about how his results have been pretty spectacular. I mean, they've all been top tens. Sit. Most of them have been top fives. Sit. Sit. And that, just a bit of a miscue. Went down the grip, trying to play a little shot in there, but was a little rich with it. So Rory's going to keep this one along the ground here at four, Karen. And probably a very sensible play. I mean, the grass on those runoff areas is cut really true. Back at five, Rory winding one up here. It does look so graceful. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's amazing how he gets all that power because he's not a very big guy. At the fifth, his 14th hole of the day, Rory McIlroy has had a stellar start to the year, just looking for that first win of the season. And will give himself a great look and an opportunity to get within one. Yeah, he's treating into the great rounds thus far. Hit it just underneath the hole, best place to putt from. Pours it in, all those top six finishes here, five of them early on the calendar in 2019. Check out Rory McIlroy out here on the tee at the sixth. And you, Terry, yeah, the, the sixth, short four. Precision hole, iron off the tee, and that is an absolute no-no. To McIlroy. Not where he wants to be here for a second. Has to keep the ball down. There's a limb overhanging right in front of him, so if he needs to keep it under and try and hit a little bit of a cut, it's cutting, but it's going to come up short. Yeah, I was going to say two choices, no, to short or long. I mean, to, to, you've got a serious upslope. Is that down to the read or is that down to the strike? There's a steep hill up there. And everything a little bit slower now yeah. on this golf course. This for par, yeah, yeah. okay. Good save, that up and down from in front of the green for Rory. On the other side of the green, just hanging in there. McElroy for birdie. Broke quickly. Yeah, a little bit of an advantage to be able to hit a three iron versus a three hybrid, which is designed to get the ball in the air. He can flatten this out if he'd like to try and cut through the wind, hit a solid shot. And that too got knocked down by the wind. Oh, look at that. Snooker. I was Billions. literally about to say, Nick, <laughs> that puts a smile on your face when you see something like that with a snooker background. Well, I'm going with yes. Oh. What a nice start for Rory to remain five under. Okay. Roy McElroy giving it a go. And he just absolutely roasted a drive 32 yards closer to the hole than Kucher had. Just a comfortable long iron for Rory. He's been hitting some nice hold cuts. I think he'll try and do something in that fashion here. Hung this one out just a bit, going at the right part. Oh, another sprinkler. 
You're kidding. Oh, what a terrible break that is. My goodness. Watch where this lands. Right on that drain yeah. down there in that little low area. What's the odds on that? My gosh. All that space out here, and he had to land it on that thing. The golf ball of Rory McIlroy at nine. <laughs> Don't move, ma'am. Terry, yeah, Terry, she hasn't moved an inch in the last five minutes. And she's not going to. <laughs> if you, you want to do, do a painting of her, then now's a good time. I think she's holding her breath, too. <laughs> the lady who's now breathing again, she's able, <laughs> she's been released from her perch. <laughs> Yes, we have everything, the ball, it just jiggled. It didn't move, change location, so. Yeah, not the best of lies, Justin, but I think it's enough to work with. Plenty of green and going back into the wind, which should help a little bit. Needs to slow down. Not terrible. And just pieced together an exceptional round of golf today. Not a blemish on the card thus far. The last part of this round, the winds have picked up, as you guys have noted, and just made club selection awfully difficult. But he's putting the ball in play in good position off the tee and has really, with the exception of that last unlucky break, uh, has been pretty spot on with his distance control. No blemish on the card, but a nasty one on his golf ball. Well, Nick, I think this is the most difficult part of the day to play here. Uh, this is when the wind seems to really get going. Intend to lay down later this afternoon. Oh, that's a good read. Oh, you're kidding oh. me. You're it kidding me. That just, looked like it was in. It looked like it just yeah. wiggled maybe a couple of feet out. It should be wiggling to the player's right, our left. Well, wow. a nice start, five under par, but a disappointing finish here at nine after a terrible break. The 2016 FedEx Cup champion. Rory McElroy. So McElroy starts best of the three, five under his tenth time here, looking to join Henrik Stenson and Tiger Woods, winning the Players FedEx Cup, a major and a WGC. He's two up the right. Okay, you see the golf ball though. Sitting up, you got that Bermuda down low, and you've got the overseeded rye on top. Rory second. Right rough, good lie. 99 yards. Not a very good angle from where we're on the side. Throw it well up into the air and well left of the hole. Get down. His club face must be a touch shut at, at impact because he pulls an awful lot of wedges left. In Ponte Vedra Beach, let's go back to one. You and I had just left. We yeah, missed, we just we left the, the tower. Build up and we missed it. McElroy, yeah. that's a par. Rory. Wow. Oh boy, we've been talking about this. Fasten your seat belts, fellas. Yeah. yeah. But he aims down the left and he's going to hit a draw, we assume. Drop it inside. Up the right here. Yeah, just hit a straight ball, Rog. The dreaded straight ball. Yeah. Didn't make it to the thick stuff, though. Didn't have the draw. Pretty good lie here in the right rough. Got 222 hold, 211 front. Into the breeze, what's he got? Four? I would think. Yeah. Maybe even five. If he thinks it's going to jump a little. It's on a pretty good line, but it doesn't look like it has the steam to get there from my advantage. Yeah, not even close. Could, could be 40 yards short. Well, it came up good 35 yards short, but an easy pitch. I mean, that easy. Beautiful. Everything's very controllable, isn't it, Zingy? They, they all know what the bounce is doing. There's no, there's no real mysteries on the greens right now.
Rory hit that sweet third. This a more routine four on the card, the par five. He's already just clearing those hips. Oh, it off, it's an eight iron on the way. But it's a little tugged out of sync. Mm -hmm. All the short irons go left. Well, here, nearly all, all. About 90%. Back at three, second for Rory. Yeah, this green kind of runs away from here, certainly from the middle point of the green. So it'll run out once he pitches it up on. It's really nicely done. Wow, those are two great pitch shots he's played in a row. He's got some short game. Don't talk about confidence. Just got up and slammed a driver down here into the narrowest part of the fairway. Just 101. Flag hunting from here. Well, his wedges have not really uh, paid the biggest of dividends for him. And there's another one that you just kick yourself. The crowd will clap for that, but he knows he can do better. And this and now pillar is going to go to his left on the way up there toward the water. Well, we know it. Just crunch it as hard as you can. Oh, it's a great effort. On those ones where three o'clock's the front of the hole, it's so hard to make it if you don't die it in. Hit, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, this should fit the fade. Let's see if he's got it. <laughs> got a blue line heading down the right. <coughs> he's carried oh. everything. That is. Oh, oh, he's down in the middle of the second bunker. <laughs> okay. Did he give him a courtesy look when he walked by? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got to hit this wedge inside 10 feet, hasn't he? Because it's back to back, that little sawed off yeah. look. Yeah. Little you. left of the hole. He's pulled it in shy. And it's just not. It's, this is, must be killing him inside. T at six, McElroy. With an iron here. And along par four, just trying to get it in play. Starts it up to left, cutting it at the very left hand side. It'll be fine now. And he just. He's got 141 coming downwind here. Another wedge. Yeah, let's see so if he can take advantage. Let's wait and see. We're going to get one. There, there you go. go. There you go. Oh. Did that go that hard right? It did. He might have shoved it a little bit, but wow. not able to take advantage of it. Uh, Feel after that, you've only, that's your first good wedge shot, then you miss it. Rory McElroy at seven, another beautiful drive. I should say T shot here. Yeah, he probably went with lesser driver because Tyke was right down in front of that bunker uh, this morning. Old. Rory for birdie. <laughs> really good off the tee, but really has nothing to show for it yeah. through this point. And we go out to the par th three eighth and Rory on the tee. With a four iron, 235 yards. Uh-oh. Well, that usually means it's headed left. One-hander. Oh, look at this bounce, though. Oh, what? Paul, I think I'm going to have to try more of that. A little, little one-hand finish if that's the result. Wow. Got a good look at it, but it's a tricky little putt. Going to slide to his right downhill. Well, Roger, this putt from just over 10 feet, the longest putt that Rory has made so far this week is 9 feet 1 inch. to six under and within five of the lead. So this is close to a 350 yard drive here. It's been there and thereabouts so often this year. The 
this long. Just miles in the air and on a good line. He's staring at it. Wow, that almost burned out during re-entry. Look at this shot. Turned around, Dan, and looked out our back window and watched Rory <laughs> make that swing, and he stayed in posture the whole time. And that's what he can do. Yeah, it got left on him early. Aggressive try at it, but always offline. McElroy at minus seven. Now just four back. Position nicely from 142. He's on a little bit of a run here with two birdies in a row. Making the turn. You can light these holes up. There's a nice stretch, and that's a good start. Might go just a little to his left. Yep, three in a row for McElroy. There's some more coming. He can easily reach the par five and two and the 12th hole drivable. 13's nothing more than an eight iron for Rory. 271. This is that two iron. It's three iron loft maybe. Flies at about 260 in the air. Yeah, this looks like it might be a little left. See if it'll cut some. It's not too bad there, actually. It's actually a pretty easy shot now that he's missed that little pot bunker. He's working on a string of three straight birdies. He flew it right into that upslope. Pretty good shot. Not great, but good. What's that? Hitting iron to all the par fives? Getting <laughs> on a leaderboard. Yeah, he's getting, he's doing both. He's getting on a weekend leaderboard. Giving himself a chance to oh. win. Wow. But at times he said his speed on putting has just been a little off. He's waiting for it all to kind of stack up on the on the greens. Yep, disappointed. Rob and Garcia is allowing the group behind to play. Pretty important shot for Rory after having to settle for par at the last. Starts it right, trying to swing it back, but it's not going to swing back enough. It's going to miss right, get that awkward pitch. Back up to 12. McElroy second. Actually, the angle he had to play, not as bad as I thought it was back from the tee, but I don't think he's going to be in love with that. Oh, man. Wow. You can tell by his reaction, Rod, the club bounced into the ball for a birdie, but a much longer birdie putt than I'm sure he anticipated. After being right in front of the green, this one should go a little left. Well, there we go. Rory. Heating up, that's uh, four birdies in his last five holes. McElroy to nine under. Well, not so much flighted down. A pretty swing. Oh, man. Landed like a sack of flour. Go back to 13. Where Rory hit, uh, well, it was kind of a woeful first putt. Yeah. Makes the three. That's not what he was looking for. And McElroy on the tee here at the par four. Right. Oh, oh boy. This is the famous mounds. Oh, Kiss off the tree. Correct side of the tree. And he's got it perfect. That's a huge <laughs> help. <laughs> Doing something right. Just mentioned McElroy got a break off that tree. Go. 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 I think quite have the uh, quite have the freedom of his usual follow through. Kind of look like it's stuck a little bit into the ground. McElroy, this at 14 for birdie. Thinking about it. Got, oh, it's denied. Everybody lean. Oh. 
could wait for the sun to set a bit more. Where's the breeze? <laughs> Which way is the grass growing? Wow. Uh-uh. That's a good S portion of that golf ball that hanging over the that line. lip. You've got 10 seconds. Once he gets Once there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 get on with it. Okay, go ahead and okay. take the time to take that out. Yeah. yeah. Heartbreaker. Well, McElroy, who opened up with a bogey, has had five birdies since. And, and this is that part of the game, yeah. Raj. 149. I would think this is probably a wedge coming yeah. downwind. Just, just gives himself so many opportunities with the driver. Just go little left, little fade, get it to kick to the right. This is just left of the hole. Yeah, sure. That's better. There you go. But when that becomes consistent, then he's laughing. And when everybody's, everybody else will not be laughing, he would just walk it. All right, McElroy at 15 to get it to double figures. Much better tempo. Wow. That looked good. He felt like he was going to make that one. Back at 16. And Rory on the tee. It's a 10 of 12 fairways, oh, and he didn't mean to hit it that shape. Might hang on to the right edge of the fairway. Yeah, that's just fine. And Rory setting up for a little cut here. He's having a go at it. Actually, he turned it over the other way. Yeah, it's pretty straight. And a beautiful shot. Glorious. And a good look down at the scene here on a, late, on a Friday afternoon. Lots of people still hanging here to see this feature group. McElroy ready to play. The sand iron. Rather relaxed motion at that sand iron as well. Little left of the hole. Yeah, it's okay. It's up on the proper level. And a good look at the island green and a good look at Rory McElroy trying to make this birdie putt to tie the lead at 11 under. Got a chance. Yes. McElroy, what a run. That is uh, three birdies and an eagle on the back nine alone. Birdies at eight and nine, seven under par. McElroy back on the tee. Well, down with the driver. He's, well, he's been fading a lot. Of he's going to send it down the water line and just peel it back a touch, Roger. Well, uh, there's no reason he shouldn't have a lot of confidence in this yeah. club, but still trying to hit a fade into this fairway downwind is yeah. not an easy task. I would have thought he probably would have gone with less than driver. Well, he hit the fade. He hit the fade even at 16 went down the left of the tree. So uh, seems like he's preferring that shape shot at the moment. Kind of straight, isn't it? That straight one. It is. Will oh, it get it's down? Too long. Yeah. Low. Too much club with this one. Yeah. If in doubt, flat out sometimes doesn't work. Downwind. How difficult this for McElroy, Roger? Well, this is tough. He's got a tree in front of him. Looks like he's looking up. Like wow. He's he's trying to go over the left side of it. 124 from the pine straw. He's trying to hit one of Tiger's uh, spinner side spinners. Sure is. It's gone up and across. It's left of the hole. Oh wow! wow that's look brilliant. at this. <laughs> that's just brilliant. It's yep. It's gonna just stick. What a fabulous shot to see that one. Took forever to come down, and when it did, you're like, really? That's <laughs> it. Hmm. 
tried that. Hey, rewarded now with a makeable birdie attempt. Should go to his right just a little on the way up there. I should, he made that putt on 16, same break. Actually, 17 was the same, so watch out. Keep a spring in his in his legs. Just get there, Rory. It. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. 12 under. McElroy Fleetwood at 12 under taking it to the weekend. So just a couple of moments away from the final tee time and Rory McIlroy, a four time major champion, but never a players champion will have a chance this weekend. 2016 FedEx Cup champion Rory McIlroy. We mentioned Fleetwood win a perfect 4 0 in the team competition at the Ryder Cup. Rory McElroy was on that team. In fact, you've got three Ryder Cuppers in the last two groups alongside or near the captain of the American squad there, Jim Furyk, who must feel like he's on his own out here in the final two groups. <laughs> this one starts to the right and tanging right. This is probably going to be in the moguls over there, right in the fairway. You know, guys, I think Rory needs a no mistake weekend. And by that, I'm not talking about physical mistakes. I'm talking about mental mistakes, wrong clubs, stuff like that. He's got to cut all that out. If he tries to flight it down a little bit. The top of that hill comes in play. So I just don't think he's willing to take that chance. Let's see if he can get this on the green somehow. The wow. Right. This is to the right. As I said, that can go anywhere off yeah. that upslope, and that is a horrible place to be, although he will be pitching. And the third for Rory Raj. Yeah, from well right here. Making a practice wing as though he might try to land it in front of the green short and chase it up, and he chunked it. Hmm. That wow. was poorly played the lie, wasn't that bad? That's a shocker. Go back to one. Well, Rory started off his round yesterday with the lone bogey. It's Still the fewest in the field and it came on this hole yesterday. He got things turned around, but he has got his back up against the wall right away here. Really Four. surprised he's going to putt from down here. He's on a little upslope to a green sloping towards him, but there must be something about that lie. He just hates. Yeah. So he should be able to save the five. Maybe a little unnerving for McElroy to see that. Short miss, but McElroy is in for five and a six for Fleetwood. So McElroy with a lead by himself, even bogeying the first hole. Back out of the fairway is McElroy after an opening bogey. 250's got a five iron. And that one looks like it's headed right. Oh, that's just a. Terrible shot and that ball settled down. That will be out to the second. This is what we're talking about with McElroy's third. And not a great line here pitching across a bunker up to the green trying to hit the big flops carried it too far. It's going over. Boy, what is going on with this guy in his short game right now? That is just awful. Well, Rory has talked a lot about his attitude and how that has really saved him on the golf course many times recently. I'm sure he's probably concentrating on that right now. Don't let this thing get too out of hand. Stay positive. That's his fourth and so he'll have a crack at a five. And back for the par attempt for McElroy and you hate to put this much emphasis on a putt early but Raj this is this is huge I would think. About six and a half feet, and I agree with you, Dan. This is, uh, you need to settle down right now. Things are been a real struggle so far. And he bogeys a par five second. And you were talking earlier how you can get off to a good start. He's just done the opposite. He should be able to get off to a decent start where he drove it. McElroy, also with nine. Oh, what is, is going on? Hit straight up in the air. Just right at the hole. Looks like it's coming up short. No, it just carries. Yeah, good shot. And I don't see a lot of break in this. It may just go left in the area of the cup. 
Boy, he needs this. That was well struck. Yes. Boy, it's so important to see that ball sneak in the right side versus lip out. McElroy's missed the fairway right in the fairway bunker. Yeah, 102. I've got a favor right of the hole here. It gives him a little margin for error. If he goes at it, catches it a little fat. Wouldn't be good. Well, this is right, but maybe a little long. It's okay. It's up on top, so we'll leave an extremely fast putt coming straight down the hill. Pretty good touch. Rory be heading to the fifth tee as the solo leader. A little bit of a surprise. I thought that it was possible that McElroy and Fleetwood could leave the field in the dust at the start of the day. Counting up good swings. Try to make one after the other and get yourself turned around. Both guys do have their best friends on the back. Harry Diamond for Rory and Ian Finnis for Tommy. That's a great point. McElroy trying to bend one in here. And it's going to the right. There it is. Rory now with 174. at the center of the green, just a little right of the hole. Two good shots there, guys. That's, they made it look easy. A little past pole, hole high, excuse me, and uh, slightly downhill, not a lot, but uh, we'll swing from right to left. So Rory's going to stay at 11 under. 300 Northeast Florida Charities benefit from the players each year in the name of Jim and Tabitha Burek Foundation. Do so much great work. This is Rory off the tee at six. This is going up the right, flirting with rough and trees. I can't imagine these guys drive it so straight, keep missing all these fairways today, and even with irons, they're missing. From the pine needles, Raj. 163 he has an avenue to the opening in the very front of the green, but has to hit it underneath limbs and chase it up on there. There's not much to work with here. That's a narrow strip of fairway. He's trying to put that ball on and it's a pretty quick, abrupt upslope right there short. And it's going at the left bunker. And that's where it'll end up. McElroy from one of those little Pete Dye pot bunkers, Raj. It has a lot of green to work with here. This, uh, this is very doable. Should get it up somewhere around the cup. There you go. That's well played. McElroy is up to say finally the stress free par here. And Rory McElroy, 137. Thanks. Just a controlled swing here. Good looking shot. Is it ever right over the stick? He got a little one downhill here. I think it's going to move a little to his right in the area of the cup. and it just kind of wiggled its way down the hill. Beautiful birdie. So two just bogeys to start, second birdie of the day, and he's tied with Rom. McElroy on the tee. Four iron. 238. <laughs> well, 
Oh, this is a good line. Oh, what a shot. What a shot from McElroy. Best of the day. Only par three we haven't seen an ace on this week. And he leads the field already in par three scoring. Rory McElroy who hit as close as anyone has all week at the long eighth. That easy work for the birdie. So McElroy jumps to the top of the board alone at 13 under par. Back on the tee at the ninth. I think Roger Maltby must have put his hat on backwards. Something. Something's changed here, Rog. Rory kind of holding his follow through there a little farther left than he wanted. It's all right. Just a lay up here. He's aiming it well right. Is that too far right? No. It's fine. Now here's Rory at nine. And another yeah. so so wedge shot for Rory. Yeah. He... A hard glance off the left edge. A try, but he will remain tied with John Rahm. And really a very good outward half, considering the, the start that he got off to. Here he is, his second at 10. Gets wayward off the tee. Kind of the way the beginning of this round began. But a nice recovery there. Put him in position, at least for a birdie look, but not to lose anymore now to the 10th Rory McElroy for birdie and he has turned it on after the bogey bogey start today. You can just sense how much more freed up he is Zing. Rory on the tee at the par 5 11th time to flash some power Raj. Yes sir big wide fairway just calling you to rip it. There's that freed up swing. Boy, I tell you what, if he gets this in the fairway, it's just going to be some kind of a simple iron shot for Rory McElroy. Perfect shot shape, little cut on that. Fairway takes it back over to the left, and that will be go zone for Rory. A little helping breeze here. This could be as little as a seven iron. Another iron to a par five. Way up in the air, but it's leaking at the right side of the green. Okay. To 11. Couple of eagle putts here from McElroy and Fleetwood. Rory first to go. Up and over the rise. Looks good. But it should be another birdie for Rory to get to 14 under. Here's the little. Birdie putt left for McElroy to get it to 14 under. Tied with Rom. Well, he's got less than driver here, Gary, and it's 276 to the front edge, 281 to the hole. Breeze is coming against him, and his temperature has dropped, and it's sprinkling a little bit. I would have thought he might have hit driver if he's going to take a shot at it. Oh man. Wow. Uh, he starts right. away right. That's a last second don't hook. <laughs> McElroy eyeing his second shot. Raj, what do you think? Yeah, pitch from about 40 yards. Now he's going to have to land this ball short of the green. I don't believe he can land on the green and get to stop anywhere near the yeah. hole. Front he's just going to have to depend on the bounce. Yeah, front part of the green actually runs away toward the middle of the green. Kind of quite crawl as far as he'd like. That's not terrible. Yeah, leaves about what 15 feet or so. Yeah, about that. Toward the middle of it, until, yeah. So it's got to go left, and I would think, yeah, if it loses speed, it's got to go pretty good, right? Correct. All right, we see the make rate here, just under 25 percent. Most of the guys that have putted from up here have had a kind of a dying speed. Didn't give it quite enough, and it snafus at the end. He's got it out there. 
Boy. Same thing. <laughs> Good putt, though. And he remains one back. Back to 13. Rory with one club less than Tommy. That's an eight iron on the way. Good looking swing. Yes, sir. And he has shown some backbone today, Zinger. I agree. After that start. Stay up. Oh, he knew it was just going to lose the race. David, he had it. Just a little more pace. They are just tearing these par fives apart as they should. And this 14th hole now is a real nightmare mm -hmm. ordinarily, but today being ever so slightly downwind, they're bombing it out there, Mike, and just hitting short irons. Yeah, Rory there just hang on. Nah, it's going to end up in the bunker there. That's a horrendous yeah. bounce. All right, Rory out of the bunker, second and 14. Looks like he's going to try to swing a hook in there, which is kind of the way to play these if you can. Gets the toe down there first. And yeah, he did heavy and. And up in front of 14 is McElroy trying to save par and stay one back of Rom. Pretty straightforward little pitch. Oh, yeah. And no problem for McElroy. This has become a pretty difficult tee shot. Move the tee back about 20 yards or so, and those trees, you got to go straight for a long time. Let go of the club again. This down the left side. We'll see if it gets down in time. Should be okay just on the first cut. 159. Rory posing, but that is well left and oh, deep. Missed. Long look for McElroy at 15. It's on a good looking line, just didn't quite get it there. That from 70 feet to stay at 14 under. Yeah, a little over six feet down the hill here. Shouldn't do much. Again, just three bogeys all week, fewest in the field. And he's bogeyed the first hole two days in a row, picked up his third and only other bogey at the second, and he has been rock solid since. Look where Rory McElroy is aiming it here, all the way down the left hand side, trying to turn it around. That, oh, he's going to hit it right over. The, this carries. What? I just is won't believe that, it. Oh. Yeah, that's now. Oh, there it is. It stayed up there for a while. Oh, and it's still up there. That's two bounces. And let's go three. Oh, careful, madam. <laughs> what? And after taking some relief from the card path, Roger, what is Rory up to? He's got 220. He has to hit a low hook. He has to start this ball at the very right side of the green and get it to turn. At the water almost? Yeah, pretty close. Watch his Why feet would... again, too, guys. You yeah. got to slip. Why not? Well, he's in a little hook. hook and it is racing. Easy, hard. easy, easy. There it is. That's what we're afraid of there. Uh, went through the back hard. Rory, uh, Rog, can still actually make birdie here. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's taking his relief uh, under stroke penalty and now putting up the hill here through the fringe, but probably no more. 25 feet from the hole or so, so it is possible. Yep, he'll settle for five. Not a disaster. The nope. slope over there. No, nope. that is up on that upper level. So that will leave a putt that will require a lot of attention if he's going to get it down in two. 17. McElroy's 
But for birdie, and I can promise you one, he will be more than happy to get down in two. And pretty well judged. Easy to race that one four or five feet by if you get too aggressive. Okay. Go to the last trailing by one. Well, I think today he could hit a cut against that wind and probably uh, not go through the fairway. Oh, but he's taking it down the left side and it's strong a little bit. This is really dangerous. Old angle. He's got to clear it, and he does, and he just blew it right over that wow, line. That's a long hit. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a little left, you think, Zing, than McElroy had in mind? I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. It was a surprise. Longest drive of the day. That was a pretty bold line that Rory took. Uh, Almost unbelievable. 308. I mean, unimaginable you could hit it down there on that line. This from 154. How about a final little exclamation point here for Rory McElroy to finish things off? Birdies abound here, and this putt would put Rory in the last group on Sunday again. Otherwise, it'll be Rahm and McElroy, and maybe Rory will do better if he's in the second to last group. His record from the last group, as we all know, oh, for his last seven. Never had the lead in any of those, and you expect more out of him. This guy is a superstar, and if you're going to watch a player hit balls, that's the guy I'd be camped out behind. <laughs> Introducing the 125 starting time. On the tee from Northern Ireland, a 14-time PGA Tour winner and the 2016 FedEx Cup champion, Rory McIlroy. <laughs> And that's a lot of accolades for a young player like Rory McIlroy, but uh, sooner or later, that player's championship, you know he would love to have as a part of all the honors that he's had so far in his young career. Jim Bones Mackay will be with his second to last group. Rory with a driver at this 420-yard hole. This ball starting left and drawing, probably going to miss the fairway in the pine straw. Yep, he's okay in the fairway. Now Rory Bones. Yeah, from 148, Dan, and boy, a real lesson on this first tee and how far the ball is not going. The fact that Rory's ball got knocked down as hard as it did in the left edge of the fairway. These guys going to have to take a lot of club into the wind today. Let's see if he can improve on two bogeys the last two rounds on this opening hole. Cutting towards the flag. This looks good. Yep, don't think it's going to be a five today. That should hold up. It's trying. Trying. <laughs> and now there's no hope. But it will stay on the green. Uh, that's a tough break. He really lacked about a foot or two of having that ball stay up there on the top shelf with a really good look. Now that's a dicey two putt. With a lengthier birdie putt than he thought he had originally. And you got to get it there and Rory should have a par. Second and Rory's in trouble again, although he's got a clear view. He's on the pine needles. You see the first couple of holes we talked about. The only three bogeys he's made the entire championship in the first two holes, but he's uh, figured it out after that. Monster break here on number two for Rory. Hit a big pull off the tee, end up in the pine straw with a clear view, and that's a poor shot from the pine straw, but will set up an angle for the third. Here is Rory's third over at the par five. Four for four this week out of the sand. It's okay. McElroy with a chance at a birdie, Bones. And I believe this is a big putt for Rory in that he said after his round yesterday he needed to play the par fives far more efficiently than he has earlier in the week. Going to, God, sorry, go ahead, Bones. No, this putt going a little left right off the bat. Oh. 
And as you said, David, these guys have the opportunity here to fly the ball all the way back to the hole. Typically, they play run-up shots the back hole locations here. Lots of right to left wind. Rory's read it well, though. This is right on line. Man, you can see how that ball, well, he gets it to back up. Good swing, though. Rory for birdie. And this to take the lead. Well, he got it there. And a little more. Just a bit frisky there. Something left for par. And Rory at the third. Safely in the right corner. And McElroy trying to figure out where he is going to drop this ball. I don't know if I'd be going all the way back there. I, I, it's not a hard shot from where the ball crossed. You just pitch it up that middle of the green, Gary, and let it feed on Can down. I just call a wrap just in, just in case. Yeah, thanks. Looks like he's going to call for an official just to make sure he's clear on exactly what he's doing. He's now playing his fourth shot here at the fourth. 87 yards, Gary, and I think the reason he went back as far as he possibly could is there's still enough moisture on these greens that the ball's taking a skid. He got that on the second hole with his bunker shot, and I don't think he wanted to lay up too close, uh, play it too close to the water because the ball could easily get away from him. From 87 yards now, he should be able to spin the ball. Go. Go. He said go right away. Well, that's far enough. He said go left. Yeah, that's not going to catch enough of a slope. McElroy trying to drop just one shot. This putt moving to his right the entire way. He's already given away three shots, Gary. Rory now with three or four feet coming back, and I think it's important to point out that even though it's early in this round, Rory hasn't exactly struck the ball the way he's wanted to. Uh, his tee shot on one was pulled, though it ended up in the fairway. Big pull off of two and blocked it right of the fairway here in four, so he's going to have to start hitting some fairways if he wants to get back into the thick of things here. Now, this is McElroy over at the fifth. Colossal tee shot. 335 yards there, guys. Out drove Jason Day, and this is a horrible wedge shot. Wow, he just continues to yank those wedges. He hit a couple beauties yesterday, but his, his flaw is a big-time pull with these short clubs. He's going to have to work that out. Head of the green, McElroy for birdie. Coming off the double at the fourth. So he'll stay one back at 12 under. Rory with an iron off the tee at the par four six, just a 387 yard hole as it just uh, takes it right up the left edge. Rory in a great position to get one back here. Full sandwich from 116. Yes. In the hole. That covers indeed. And McElroy, who has the ability, we saw it yesterday, got off to the slow start. He can flip the switch and all of a sudden pass a lot of people. Yep. As we go back to six. From short range, McElroy to tie the lead. Those. And McElroy with his first birdie of the day makes it a four way tie at the top. We all know how explosive Rory is here. The flag, as you mentioned, is laying down. The wind not blowing as hard as it was when these guys played off the tee. Rory can stack this one here. So get rid of that pull. Boy, he's lost this a little right. Needs to hang on. Oh. When you have the potential to yank the ball left with your short clubs, eventually you're going to flare one out to the right. And Kind of a funny little lie there for Rory right up against the uh, rough there, Bones. Yeah, the one thing he has working for him is with the rain we had earlier, there's still a little moisture on the grass, and he can kind of skid bump one into the bank here. But what hurts him is the green is straight into him, so 
This is all about reading the first bounce. Yes. And he just about read it perfectly, although he's got a significant distance coming back to remain. Achilles heel during his Sunday rounds. He hasn't hit it particularly well, but the opportunity to make those putts come and go. And you know, Rory's dug himself a little bit of a hole here. And at the eight, McElroy's tee shot on the way with a five iron. Played a beauty here yesterday. He hit it uh, within a foot of the hole. Wow, oh, that, and a good one there, too. That's a long five iron. Yes, it is. Carried it some 210 plus yards into the breeze. All right, back at eight. Down grain working to his left. Just uh, never hit it. Wow. Mm. Okay, three, but very disappointing effort. Rory might be able to get there. Beautifully flighted right up the center of the fairway. Great shot. Oh, that's as straight as you can point. Beautiful. Yeah, perfect shape there. And uh, Paul, like you said, he has not taken advantage of those tee shots at the par fives as yet. David, so much strategy involved in this shot here. Certainly, he'd love to knock this on the green, but it's all about where you leave this shot. Yes. Re relative to getting the next one up and down. You don't want to be green high right in the Mogos. You'd prefer to be a little left if you didn't knock this on. Boy, trying to turn towards the hole, but a touch right. Needs a kick. Got it. Almost got it. Oh, not as in a spot. He's third at the ninth. Yeah, he's got it on the upslope. Should be able to spin this, even though he's landing it right there on that downslope. I wouldn't say that's his best effort there. Not very good. And being two back right now, this is a big putt for his attitude for that long walk to the tenth. And Paul gave you the stat earlier from a ball striking standpoint. McElroy has played the par five so well. It's just the inability to convert. Gets one there. Rory one over 37 on the first nine, and he's one behind John Rahm and Jim Furyk. And now McElroy. Nice tee shot for Rory in the left center of this fairway. 153 into a breeze that was freshening quite a bit, but is laying down at the moment. This is a great hole location for McElroy. His natural flight's a little right to left. Yeah, this is tugged a little bit. Probably needs to get down. And oh, it's just fine. Shot. It is just fine. McElroy. And McElroy up at 10 has another golden opportunity. And the reason he was talking to that second shot as it was in the air is because Long left this flag. The ball releases down into a low spot that's no good. But because Rory and his caddy Harry pulled the perfect club here, they came up a couple yards short of releasing down that hill. And now he's got a great look for three. This for back to back birdies. For the tie at the top. Oh. Man, he just got robbed. He's already hit more fairways today than he did all day yesterday. These par five tee shots are huge for McElroy. He can reach every single par five the last two tournaments. Hang in there. Mm -mm. Nope. Well, at the stadium course now over at 11 after a 329 yard drive in the bunker here. Here's Rory with 217 left. Dangerous shot. Come on, keep going. Keep going. McElroy finds the corner of the green and is on in two. That is a beauty. 
exactly where he aimed it. Over at 11, McElroy for Eagle. This somehow goes down. He will jump up on top by himself. Now that's well judged and an easy birdie for McElroy. Furyk must think he's in another Ryder Cup trying to stave off these guys. He got Rom McElroy Fleetwood's just behind him by one. 276 yards to the front edge of the green. This ball well hit just slightly right of the green should leave him a good angle though. Oh, gets a nice hop. Yep, that's just fine. Yeah, well, that is a fantastic shot and Roy McElroy really in the catbird seat with this birdie hole here. And McElroy looking over a very straightforward second shot here, Bones. You said it, Gary. Perfect play from Rory off the tee. Took the water out of play, left himself a fantastic angle just to pitch this on the green, have it run downhill, down grain towards the hole. Oh, that better grab. That better grab. Easy. I've seen a couple of guys chip it all the way across the green and have it run all the way down by the penalty area. Wow. Yeah, just a moment ago, I was looking at that leaderboard, Gary, and it was just clear McElroy was the guy. I mean, he was in the best position, well, but how quickly things can <laughs> change. This is anything but a gimme, right? Yeah, no question. I mean, we just saw the graphic. He hasn't made a putt longer than six feet, three inches in his last 22 holes. He hasn't made one over five feet today and until his, now. Adds his own roar as another roar came up just before he stroked it. What a, Roy, the 15 under and a one shot lead. What a good putt for Rory who's not had a lot of positive vibes on the greens and he's bouncing over to 13. Great to see him pump his fist as he made that birdie putt on 12 playing with a lot of emotion right now. This is an eight iron going to get it up in the wind. over it and it doesn't have enough on it to catch the slope no. that was so close he doesn't believe it has one to increase his lead to two this ball will go left early straighten up and try to get back a hair to the right at the end gotta go man that's not the one you want to leave yourself either. One putt at the last eight greens. To stay a shot in front. Yeah. Safely done. Yeah, that was a little more than he wanted there. The 14th. Difficult par four. McElroy bones you right there. Yeah, straight down wind. Rory going with three wood. This is a great play. You can run out of fairway on the left side if you're not careful. And this is ideal. He just pumps it down there. Second for McElroy over at 14. Sky high back left hole location. McElroy's going after it and he's short sided himself in that bunker. Close tight to that steep grass face at 14 here. No piece of cake. That's pretty good. Sure he's wondering how he could have possibly left it short. McElroy has not made a single bogey on the back nine all week. He's gotten off to some tough starts, but he has been just about bulletproof on the back. Pushed it. Pushed it all the way. Like McElroy to completely miss the hole. And up at 15 is McElroy Bones. Hard right to left wind. Rory will look just to hold this ball up and have it land softly. Olsen. And he is overcut this one. This ball should end right. up in the right fairway bunker, I believe. Maybe right of it. Oh, oh. just on the right side of it. Way to the right, but that ball's sitting 
beautifully in there. Yep, it's possible. We've seen guys get out of that fairway bunker, get it on the green. And here is McElroy at 15. Some golf shot there. From a very clean line. An excellent shot by McElroy. Was it ever? And he took full advantage of it today. McElroy to tie Furick at the 15th. For birdie. And McElroy pours it in. That coming off the bogey at 14. Hit it into the woods on the left yesterday. Played a sensational shot out, but ran over the back end of the water. And this is very aggressive with driver here, straight downwind. I think his ferry would be bigger hitting three wood. Oh. Oh, that looks like a ripper. Boy, took that one very, very high. Well, you were right about that, Bones. That was just a hair too much club. And you don't really want to be in this right rough, Bones. You don't, but Rory got a great break in that his golf ball is very near a crosswalk, and the grass in his ball ultimately lies and has been trampled down. So he's got a much better lie than he otherwise would have. He's got 178 total, but the really important number to him here is 165, which is what it is to carry the front bunker. He just wants to put something in the middle of the green and just hit something about 168 in the air, take that bunker out of play. Yeah, something in just left of the flag right over the top of the bunker it should kick the ball down toward the hole. The thing about this rye rough too, guys is that uh, sometimes it'll come out kind of spinny and sometimes it can jump so he's going to have to evaluate this he hit it over the green in the water yesterday. Nine iron. Came out nicely very high and just Looks going right over that bunker, and that's oh, perfectly played. Is Fabulous that any shot. good? Very difficult to get that any closer. And a great chance for Eagle for the man tied for the lead. And back to 16. McElroy for Eagle and the solo lead. And this putt almost identical to the one he made back on 15. Good pace. Another real close one. David, this is about the time my palm starts sweating. Yeah. Watching these guys, knowing what's at stake, especially walking over to 17 for Roy with a one shot lead. Oh. Yeah. This is planned. 52. Pretty close, this baby. Roy. All week long, Rory struggled with his wedges. Actually, his short irons. He's hit some beauties, but he's also tugged a bunch way to the left. Well, Paul, you just heard his caddy, Harry Diamond, say it's playing some 15 yards longer, and they're playing it at 152 yards. That sounds like an awful lot. Nine iron left of the hole, cutting back. Okay, well, uh, just chipped it up there, and it's safe. That's a good shot. Another yard or two, Gary, it would have rolled down to that other level. As we go over to 17, and that walk feels a heck of a lot better on dry land with a one-shot lead. No question about it. That's not a chaw of tobacco. I don't know, I don't <laughs> no, know what it's, a, it's an energy bar <laughs> he grabbed as he was walking off the tee there, Paul. Uh, I'd probably eaten a wrapper and <laughs> been so nervous. <laughs> yeah, you got to give him a lot of credit. Coming back after the double bogey at the fourth, he was all the way back to 12 under par, but just as he did yesterday, stayed patient. And Dan, I know you touched on it. That's one of his big goals this year is to not try to force the issue quite as much. Well, he and Dustin Johnson are playing golf on another level. Roy McIlroy in the 2019 season has been absolutely incredible. He, he believes that he has a winning attitude. All he needs now is the win. Be patient, he has stressed. He has been in this position seemingly every week since we started this seven in a row swing from Mexico over here to Florida. And then in this, the biggest of these events in this swing, Roy McElroy. 
So putting off that upper level, big swing from left to right and pretty good bit downhill. So one you want to be very careful with. Easy to run this, you know, four or five feet by if you're a little careless. Well, yeah. And we heard Eddie, Eddie Pepperell earlier say he felt like it was a little slower down the hill than he had anticipated. There's all kinds of issues here. He's got to get this just right, Gary, so he didn't have one of those little knee knockers. That's John Rahm for birdie back at 16, lower right. And Rahm unable to take advantage of the par five. Boy, that's a bogey and a par on the two par fives on the back nine for John Rahm. That will cost him. And now McElroy for birdie. Thought it had a chance. Mm -hmm. And this was McElroy tapping in as we watched Fleetwood make his eagle. So McElroy at 16 under, one shot lead. Well, Paul, it's his best club in his bag. He's number one on the PGA Tour this season and strokes gained off the tee. So go with your strength. Yep. Does get shorter on that right hand side. You see the winds just four miles an hour off his right into a little bit. Right down the center. That oh. is about as good as you can draw it up. Well, if you can drive it like that, you might as well drive it. That's impressive. Parr will win it for McElroy. Drawing towards the hole, this very aggressive. And he goes right over the stick. What a shot. And he's two putts away from putting it away. The aggressive approach off the tee, and he went right over the stick. God, he has held it together, really, without his best stuff. Only hit four fairways all day yesterday. Hung in there, and man. Working on a string of five straight top six finishes. We've been talking about Rory trying to break through seemingly for months now. And could this catapult him like it did the last time he put a streak like this together into a great season back in 2012 when he won a couple of FedEx Cup playoff events. And that's the kind of player Rory is. He's one of those guys that just starts building, 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 and then just explodes down the stretch of a season. So still two putts to put it away, but two putts to have a one-shot victory over Jim Furyk. I'm not sure he knows what's going on behind him with Fleetwood. Certainly, Rory went for this flag from the middle of the fairway, and he's looking to take care of business on himself. Creeps by a little bit. Uh, looks like a gimme. Should be par at the last at the most difficult hole at the stadium course. And Rory McElroy is a player's champion. All sorts of possibilities today. Rory, you've been so close to winning this season on the PGA Tour. What do you think the difference was this week? Honestly, I think it was just all those experiences that I'd had starting the year. Um, you know, a good chance in Hawaii, 
a good chance in LA, chance in Mexico last week. And I think just it's a culmination of, of just getting those experiences. And um, I felt more and more comfortable each time. And even like, it, I almost liked today because it was tough. I knew that guys weren't going to get away from us, especially when I made double on four. I just, I knew, you know, it was a similar start to what I had yesterday. I knew there were some chances coming up, so I, I just stayed as patient as I possibly could. And um, anytime I looked at the leaderboard, I was pleasantly surprised that I hadn't fallen, you know, two, three shots behind. So, you know, that gave me a little bit of encouragement to keep going and, um, you know, played a great back nine. You are used to winning all over the world. How would you describe how difficult it is to get across the finish line in a championship like this? It's 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 hard. I mean, it's it's it was a, it was a difficult day. You know, you've got guys, you know, maybe starting two or three hours before us. They go out at 66, 67, and all of a sudden they post a number. Um, I had no idea Eddie Pepperell was where he was, and he post 66, and I'm like, wow, we've got the 14 under par. So. It's tough. I mean, the depths of fields, you know, this is probably the deepest field of the year. Um, you know, there's so much on the line and you know, I'm just thankful that, you know, it, it was my turn this week. I felt like if I just stayed patient enough and waited my turn, you know, things would work out for me and I'm, I'm glad to have. Congratulations, Roy. Thank you.